Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Agoni, and today we are back for a statue tutorial. For one today that I've promised for like two or three weeks now, it's really got pushed back, and I'll explain one or two reasons why that might be in a few seconds. But today we're doing the Team Instinct statue. So if you haven't seen, I already did a Team Mythic trainer and a Team Valor trainer, and today we're doing Team Instinct. Now by this, I don't mean the team leaders, I just mean a trainer. So essentially, it's a Pokemon trainer from Pokemon Go, but wearing the colours and the jackets of the different teams to represent, I guess. So today we're doing Team Instinct, and a lot of you wanted to know why I've done Team Instinct loss, and it was purely based on statistics. I saw that Mythic was the most popular, so I thought there'd be more demand for you guys wanting to see that, than Valor, than Instinct. Now that doesn't really make much sense, in the sense that I am actually part of Team Instinct, so theoretically I probably should have done it first, but you know. Times got in the way, I went travelling, and then also now I'm back at college, so bit preoccupied, but bringing you the tutorial today so if you do enjoy it please do not forget to leave a like on the way out and with that said let's get straight into it because it is a really really long video just like the other two so the materials you'll need are the following you'll need stone light gray wool black wool gray wool sand stained clay yellow stained clay block of gold yellow wool snow black stained clay orange wool acacia planks smooth sandstone birch planks oak planks white wool Block of quartz, grey stained clay, brown stained clay, stone brick stairs, and stone brick slabs. So, I'm going to give you guys a second to grab them blocks into your inventory. Whilst we do that, I'm going to credit the designer of this, who was Nebula, or Russell the Jimmies. I'll leave his social media, or links to his social media, down in the description. Please, 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 go show him some love. But anyways, let's get straight into building. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by building the legs. The legs are 12 tall and 8 blocks wide. We're going to start on the bottom left corner and we're going to place one stone. So again, just find a nice open area. You're going to need probably a radius about 10 wide and then about, I'd say, 20 blocks thick. So 20 wide, or should I say 10 thick. There we go. So next what we're going to do is to the right of this, we're going to go 2 blocks to the right using the light grey wall, 2 stone, two light grey and one stone and that is our first layer now as I said a second ago the legs are 12 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide that is the first layer of 8 so 11 more to go anyways working our way up now the second layer is 8 black wool so as you can see every time I do a layer I'm gonna back up this is more to give you guys an opportunity to pause if you want and I'm not gonna say it every time because it will drive everyone mental but I want to try and give you guys enough time to do what you want to do and go at the pace you want to. So continuing now, the third level is one grey wall, two black wall, two grey, two black and one grey wall. On top of that we're going to do four layers of eight grey walls, so that's the first layer, the second layer, the third and then finally the fourth layer. So right now at this point in time these statues should be seven blocks tall. For the 8th layer, what we're going to do is 8 cyan stained clay. So again, that's the 8th layer, and right now it should be an 8 by 8 square. The ninth layer is 8 black wool. On top of that, we're going to place 1 stone, 6 black wool, and 1 stone. The 11th layer, the 2nd to last layer, is 1 black wool, 1 stone, 4 black wool, 1 stone, and 1 black wool. And the final layer, which is of course the top layer, is one black wall, one light grey wall, four black wall, one light grey, and one black wall. So exact same as the previous layer, but instead of stone, we're using light grey wall. And once you've done that, that is it. That is the legs complete. It's as simple as that. Again, this would be a good time to pause the video if you wanted to, just for like the sake of throwing it out there. Again, the Measurements, 12 tall and 8 wide. And again, I'll show you a useful little trick that helps you count them without actually having to count. That's a lie. You technically do have to count, but not as much as you would. That didn't sound quite as cool. Anyways, what we're going to do for this little trick is if you're on PC, press F3. If you're on console, grab yourself a map. And as you can see in the top center right there, you have X, Y, and Z. X being side to side, Z also being side to side, and then Y being up down. 
So what we're going to do is take a seat on the floor, and in my case, you can see it's Y5. Floor level for me, Y5. For you, might be different. So factor that in. What we're going to do is add 12 to Y. So if yours is 10, we're going to add 12 to 10. If yours is 20, 12 to 20. You get the idea. So I'm looking for 17 because that's 12 on top of 5. So if I fly up to here and take a seat on the top of the statue, as you can see, Y17, which proves that this is 12 blocks tall. Again, factor in, you might not be looking for 17. So if your floor level is 5, great. If it's not, then you're not looking for 17. But that's just an example, I guess you could say. So essentially, what that does, and it makes it easier, is when we get to the top of the statue, when we're dealing with 24 and 32 and heights like that, that's when it becomes useful. For now, probably could get away with just coming up the side and counting, but later on when we get into more extreme heights, then it might become a bit more of a problem. Not so much in difficulty, but in time, and just becoming a bit of a pain and a bit boring. I guess any corner cut is time saved, and that's always a positive. So again, last opportunity to pause for now before we do move on. But what we're going to do now is start working on the body. So the body is again 12 by 8, 12 tall, 8 wide. What we're going to do is we're going to start on the top left corner here by placing one yellow stained clay to right of that block of gold, yellow, block of gold, yellow, block of gold, yellow, block of gold. So as you can see, there's a bit of a simple pattern going on right there. Then what we're going to do, and this is where inventory management becomes a bit essential, we're going to grab ourselves our birch planks and our smooth sandstone. Now on the left side, right next to this yellow stained clay, we're going to go one to the left using birch planks, two smooth sandstone, and one black wall. So it's four blocks to the left. On the right side, we're going to do the exact same now. So right next to the gold block here, we place one birch, two smooth sandstone, and one black wall. Essentially, what this is doing is marking out where the hands go, and it will be where the arms as well go later on in the video. But for now, we're just going to leave it there. Again, it's just corner cutting, saves a bit of time later on. But for now, we're going to focus on the body. Okie dokie. So the main blocks you're going to want for the body are the following. You'll want your yellow stained clay, your block of gold, your yellow wool, your snow, your white wool, and your quartz. So what you can do is essentially just chuck out the rest of the blocks. Keep grey and cyan accessible, as well as your oak planks. But again, you just want to chuck the majority of them away, such as the stone and the black wall, because we won't need them for now. Okie dokie. So continuing with the body now, we already have this first layer, which is yellow, gold, yellow, gold, yellow, gold. The next layer is the same. Yellow, gold, yellow, gold, yellow, gold, yellow, gold. So that is the second layer of the body. Now the third layer, unfortunately, isn't quite as simple. So we're going to start off by placing one gold, one snow, four yellow wool, one snow, and one block of gold. Again, that is the third layer. Same logic applies as the legs every time I back up. Probably a good opportunity to pause if you need to. The fourth layer now is one yellow wool, one white wool, one gold, two yellow, one gold, one white wool, and one yellow wool. Now be careful to not do what I just done there, which is get the whites mixed up. So as you can see, I just placed quartz there instead of yellow. Uh, instead of quartz, instead of white wool. That's what I was meant to say. So quartz instead of white. And that's really easy to do. As you can see, they look the same in your texture bar. Um, but again, it just looks a lot better if you keep to the correct blocks. They have slightly different textures. Okay. So the fifth and the sixth layer is eight yellow wool. It's probably... The simplest this part will get. So right now, again, should be six blocks tall. V7 flare is two yellow wool, one yellow stained clay, one gold, and four yellow wool. The next layer is two gold, one snow, one quartz, three yellow wool, and one block of gold. The next layer is one grey wool, one yellow wool, one snow, two quartz, two yellow wool, and one grey wool. Again, just backing up. The next layer, which is the tenth layer, is one sand stained clay, two yellow wool, two snow, one quartz, one yellow wool, and one cyan stained clay. 
The next layer, which is the 11th layer, is 1. Cyan stained clay, 2. Yellow wool, 1. Block of gold, 1. White wool, 1. Snow, 1. Quartz, and 1. Cyan stained clay. And that leaves us with the final row, which is of course the 12th and ultimate row, is 1. Yellow wool, 1. Grey wool, 1. Cyan, 2 oak planks, cyan, grey, yellow. So, that is the 12th layer. However, for the 12th layer, what we're going to do is in front of all these blocks, apart from the oak, we're going to bring it forward to one. So, we bring it forward to one yellow, one grey, one cyan, and then, again, two block app, cyan, grey, yellow. So, this is all a 3D effect. Again, it just works in with the collar and the hood, and that is what it looks like. Again, that is 12 blocks tall, and factor in. You should be looking for 24 blocks off the floor now if you use your Y coordinate trick. As you can see here, that's perfect for me. And that's where it comes in useful. It means I don't have to count 24 down, which means that we can look at it and guarantee that it is correct. So I'll zoom in a little bit just so you can see it a bit clearer in case you want to catch up. And I'll zoom out a bit as well just in case you're looking for what the whole body looks like. So far, it is 24 tall, 16 wide, 8 wide if you're not including the arms. And talking of the arms, that's what we're going to work on right now so again this is where inventory management becomes a bit more of a problem so i'm going to clear my hot bar and then we'll work from the bottom up so the first layers you're going to need your birch your smooth sandstone your black wool and your gray wool from there on out you're going to need your oak planks you're also going to need your yellow stained clay yellow wool and then your free white so you'll need your snow quartz and white wool of course we don't have enough space because it's a lot of blocks but we'll worry about that later on. So we're going to start on the left arm first. Again, if you haven't already marked this out, you come to the 13th layer of the build, you go four blocks to the left, one birch, two smooth sandstone, one black wool. Going from left to right, the second layer is three black wool and one smooth sandstone. The third layer is two grey wool, two black wool. And the fourth layer is four smooth sandstone. On top of that, we're going to place one oak plank and three birch planks. And then we're going to go one yellow stained clay, two yellow wool, and one yellow stained clay. Again, right now it should be six blocks tall, and we are halfway there. The seventh layer is where we need our whites. So we're going to start off by placing one white wool, two quartz, and one white wool. The eighth layer is four snow. The ninth layer is three snow and one quartz. And the tenth layer is two snow and two white wool. On top of this, we're going to need our yellow wool now. We're going to place one snow, one white wool, one quartz, and one yellow wool. And then for the final layer, we're going to place one quartz, one white wool, one yellow wool, and one yellow stained clay. I'm going to get rid of my arm and give you guys an opportunity to have a better look, I guess. So as you can see there, that is what the arm should look like. That is 12 blocks tall and 4 blocks wide. Now the good news is the right arm is the exact same. The bad news is it's flipped over, so that might be a bit confusing. If you want to skip ahead and you want to do it yourself, feel free. Just skip ahead the video with the awesome YouTuber feature or YouTube feature, should I say, where you scroll across, you can see the video. When you see that I'm working on the side of the legs, that's probably a good time to catch up. But for now, we're going to go over to the other arm, and we're going to walk you guys through it who want to the other arm. So what we're going to start by doing, again, is start off at the bottom row. On the 13th layer of the build, we come four blocks to the right, one birch, two smooth sandstone, and one black wall. Again, from left to right, we're going to work our way up. So we place one smooth sandstone and three black wool. And then for the third layer, we place two black wool and two grey wool. For the fourth layer, we place four smooth sandstone. That's currently a four by four. For the fifth layer, we place three birch planks and one oak plank. For the next layer, which is the sixth layer, we place one yellow stained clay, two yellow wool, and one yellow stained clay. As you can see, it's a carbon copy so far of the other side. Moving on to the upper part now, where we have all the white wool, the snow, and all that fun. We're going to place one white wool, two snow, or sorry, two quartz, apologies, two quartz, 
and one white wall. I'm too, too used to saying snow rather than quartz. However, the next row is four snow, so I guess that makes up for it. The next layer after that is one quartz, three snow. The tenth layer is two white wall and two snow. The eleventh layer is one yellow wall, one quartz, one white wall, and one snow. Again, I'll back up just for a second. And then the final layer, the twelfth layer, is one yellow stained clay, one yellow wall, one white wall, and one quartz. So, as you can see, exact same on both sides. It's a carbon copy, just flipped over so that the left arm is facing towards the right, and then the right arm is facing towards the left. If that makes any sense, hopefully it does. But that is it. That is the front of the arms and the front of the body complete. If you want to pause, again, I will come back on later on in the video and do like a spin around. But for now, if you want to make sure everything is great, then feel free to pause. The body itself should be 12 tall, 16 wide, 8 wide without the arms. And then, of course, we have the front of the legs, which is 12 by 8. Talking of the legs, what we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner to this stone right here. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to come around to the left side and we're going to expand to left one, two using the light gray and then one stone. So essentially, we're expanding three blocks to the left on the side. And this is the side of the leg. So the side of the leg is 12 by 4. However, the fourth row is already done. This is the fourth row right here, aka the front side. We're going to be doing three blocks in each row, 12 blocks in total. And the first row is already done. So the blocks you're going to need for this are stone, light grey, you'll also need some black wool, some grey wool, you'll need your cyan, and then you'll need your oranges. So you'll need your acacia and your orange wool. Okay, so starting from left to right, again the second layer is two black wool, you also need yellow and gold, that was my bad there, one yellow, the third layer is two black wool, and one gold. The fourth layer is two grey and one acacia. Now the next three layers are the exact same um, as this one. Apart from acacia, we're going to replace with orange wool. So we place two grey, one orange, and we do this twice more. Two grey and one orange. Again, two grey, one orange. The next layer is two cyan and one acacia plank. So that is the eighth layer and that should leave you with four layers remaining for these final four layers we're simply just going to do four layers of free black wool and that will bring you up to the top as you can see right here and that will give you a 12 by 4 as you can see this is the left side of the leg that is a 12 by 4 and the other side again exact same if you want to go ahead and copy it over i'm now going to head around to the right side and do that first i'll give you a side angle view of what the side of the leg looks like as you can see right there and now we're going to head round to the right side. So from this right side, we're going to start off at the stone here. We're going to go two blocks to the right using one light, uh, using one light gray, using light gray, and then one stone. So that's the third block. Again, same logic applies. It is 12 by 4, so 12 tall, 4 wide. First layer already done. The second layer is one yellow wool and two black wool. And the third layer is one gold and two black wool. Now, again, like we did on the other side, we're going to do the orange stripes. We start off by placing one layer of acacia and two grey wool, and then three layers of orange and two grey wool. So again, we do that twice more, orange and two grey. For the next layer, which should be the layer in line with this sand clay here, we're going to place one acacia plank and two sand stained clay, and above that, we just simply do four layers of free black wool. Again, that will bring you up to the top from the front on view. It looks like this. And then from the side on, like this. Exact same as the left side. Okay, so we are making really nice progress so far. What we're going to do now is work on the side of the arms. So, the way we're going to do this, we're going to build the base of the arms first. We're going to need our smooth sandstone, birch planks, and our black wall. What we're going to do is come around to the rear side of the statue. We're going to start on the rear side of the right arm first. And behind this black wall here, we're going to bring it back one using birch planks, one black wall, and one birch plank. Now, if you look from a side angle now, it should go black wall, birch, black wall, birch. Then, next to this, the three layers, what we're going to do, the next two layers behind this smooth sandstone, we're going to bring back three blocks using smooth sandstone, 
And then behind this birch plank here, we're going to bring it back two using uh, smooth sandstone and then one birch plank. From below, you can see it looks like this. And then we're going to repeat this on the other side now. So on the other side, again, behind this black wall, we're going to bring it back one with birch, one black wall, one birch. Behind these two smooth sandstone, bring it back three, again using smooth sandstone. And then behind this birch here, we're going to bring it back two smooth sandstone and one birch. And it will look like this from underneath. Alrighty, so I'm just going to head around to a front position now. And again, just like low down so you can see what it looks like underneath on the hands. And that leaves us ready to work on the side of the arms. So starting with the left arm, we'll come around to the left side. You should be presented with something that looks like this. So it's almost like a backwards L shape. Of course, just like the side of the legs, it is 12 tall and 4 wide. And the fourth layer is already done. Now in this case, we've already done the first layer as well. As you can see here, which can, should consist of one birch, one black wall, one birch, and then also the black wall from this strip right here. So again, just like I did with the other sides, I'm going to go up layer by layer, left to right, and let's do this. So the second layer is free black wall, and again, my inventory management is not too hot right now, but we'll try and work our way through it. The third layer is free grey wall, and then the layer after that is free smooth sandstone. Next, we're going to need our oak planks and our birch planks and also our three yellows. So the next layer is one oak, two birch, and then there should be the oak that links up right here. The next layer, which is the sixth layer, is one yellow stained clay and two yellow wool. On top of this, we're going to need our white. So we place one white wool, two yellow stained clay, and then there should be one white wool already there. So again, just backing up to give you guys a second to pause if you need to. Okie dokie. So again, you're going to need your snow for this part. Now, as you can notice, on the right side, we got four blocks using snow. So on top of this white wall, we're going to go up one, two, three, and four using snow. And then on top of that, we're going to place a block of quartz. Now that leaves us a five by two gap in this middle here. And the way we're going to fill this is by starting off on top of this yellow stained clay, we're going to place two gold blocks. On top of that, two layers of two yellow two layers, uh, two blocks of gold, and then on top of that, two blocks of yellow stained clay. And that will bring you up to the top. And as you can see, this is what it should look like. So again, 12 blocks tall, four blocks wide. And then the little pattern right here of the yellow stripe that goes down the middle. Now the other side, again, exact same. So if we head around to the right side now, we're going to go up layer by layer. So the first layer, as I've already done and already showed you how to do, is one black wall, one birch, one black wall, and one birch. Again, same logic applies. It's 12 by 4. Fourth layer already done this side. It looks like an L. So the second layer is free black wall. And then on top of that, we're going to do free gray wall. Just like the other side now, we're going to do free smooth sandstone. And then two birch and one oak. Again, just a second to pause. If you want, that is the fifth layer. The sixth layer is two yellow wool and one yellow stained clay. And on top of that, we're going to place two yellow stained clay and one white wool. Now, just like we did on the other side now, on top of this white wool, we're going to build up four using snow. So one, two, three, and four using snow. And then on top of that, we're going to place one quartz to cap it off. That leaves us with our five by two in the middle, which we're going to start off by placing two blocks of gold. On top of that, two layers of yellow a layer of gold, and then a layer of yellow stained clay. Easy enough, and again, I'm kind of rushing through this a bit, because I don't want the tutorial being ridiculously long. And because it is the same as the other side, I really do suggest just pausing the video and building it yourself. But if you want to, this is a good time to pause, reference image, and let's continue. So that is the sides of the statue complete. As I can back up here, you can see it's really starting to look kind of nice. So... We're going to head round to the rear side and, oh no, catastrophe, not so nice. Now, yes, that was a bit staged and I knew it was going to look a bit meh, but it's because it's not done. It will look great once we've finished and that's what we're going to work on now is finishing it up. So the blocks you're going to need for the back of the legs is stone, light grey wool. You're going to need your black wool, grey wool and cyan stained clay. The back of the legs, just like the front, is 12 by 8. However, row on left already done, row on right already done, so that's two rows already complete, which means we're only placing six blocks for each row in between the already existent rows. 
So starting off at the first layer, what we're going to do is right next to this stone, we're going to place two light grey, two stone, and two light grey. The second layer is two black wool, two grey, and two black wool. And on top of that, we're going to place six black wool, and that is the first three layers. On top of this, we're going to do four layers of six grey wool. So that's the first, second, third, and fourth layer. So currently, seven blocks tall. And for the eighth layer, we're going to place six cyan stained clay. On top of this, we're going to place four layers of black wool. And that will bring you up to the top of the back of the legs. And that is the legs in general complete. As you can see, that is 12 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide. And that means we can now move on to the rear side of the body. Now, just a heads up for the rear side of the body, it's very plain. And the reason behind this is because there's going to be a bag. And the bag's going to go on top, which means by putting tons of detail, we're only covering it up anyways. So it's very, very plain. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the bottom left corner by doing the first layer, which is three yellow stained clay, two yellow wool, and three yellow stained clay. And it should connect up both sides with the arms. Then what we're going to do is kind of do like a perimeter. So what we do on the left, we do on the right. So we're going to start off on top of this yellow stained clay. Right here, we're going to go up two using yellow stained clay. Three yellow wool, and then three yellow stained clay. So just to go over that, two yellow stained clay, three yellow wool, three yellow stained clay. On top of this, we're going to go up one yellow wool and two grey wool. And right now, that should be at the same height as the top of the statue. You can even link across if you want to. As I said, we repeat this on the right side now. So on the right side, we go up one, two, using yellow stained clay, three yellow wool, three yellow stained clay, one yellow wool, and two grey. Again, we'll come up to the same height, link across, and it will look something like this. Then what we're going to do is next to the grey wool on either side, on the left side, we're going to do it to right and on the right we do it to the left we're going to place two cyan stained clay right next to the gray wall and then again we're going to bring it in even further so on the top part we're going to place one yellow wall two yellow stained clay and one yellow wall and it should link them together and that will give you a hollow shape in the middle all of this is yellow wall so you can go ahead and just fill it in solid yellow wall it's all yellow wall but again most of this will be covered by the backpack which is why it is just plain yellow because again if you're going to add detail, you're just adding detail to cover it up, which seems a bit pointless in my opinion. Alrighty, so as I fill this in, and I'll give you guys a second to catch up in a second. There you go. So that is what it looks like. Again, 12 by 8, very, very plain. But as I've explained many a time, there's reasons why. Alrighty, so with that said, the second to last side of the body before we move on to adding the backpack and then the head is the rear side of the arms. So the rear side of the arms is very similar to the side, of course. There's four thick, but the first block or fourth block, whichever one you want to call it, is already done. So we're placing three blocks on each row, and it's pretty much just a case of matching things up because the majority of it is the exact same pattern as the other sides. So the materials you'll need for this part is black wool, grey wool, yellow stained clay, yellow wool, and then your three whites. So you'll need your quartz, snow, and white wool. So we're going to start on the back of the right arm, in this case it's our left, and we're going to start on the second layer because the first layer is already done consisting of one birch, two smooth sandstone, and one birch. The second layer is two black wool, one smooth sandstone, that is a block I forgot, need smooth sandstone as well. So one smooth sandstone, and then the next layer is one grey wool, two black wool. The fourth layer is three smooth sandstone. And then the fifth layer is three birch planks. On top of this, to cap off this section here, we're going to place two yellow wool and one yellow stained clay for the sixth layer. And then we head into the area which is the pattern using white and snow. So the seventh layer is two quartz and one white wool. On top of that, we're going to place three snow. Then we're going to place three snow again. So two layers of three snow. The next layer is one snow one quartz and one white wool on top of that we're going to place one quartz one white wool and one yellow wool and then finally for the final layer we're going to place one white wool one yellow wool and one yellow stained clay as you can see here this is what it looks like other side is the exact same if you want to skip ahead but this is the back side of the rear arm rear right arm should i say
to be more specific. So, here's the rear of the left arm. Exact same, but I'll go for it nevertheless. The first layer is one birch plank, two smooth sandstone, and one birch plank. The second layer is one smooth sandstone and two black wool. For the next layer, we're going to do two black wool and one grey wool. And on top of that, we're going to place three smooth sandstone and then three birch planks. Again, that was the first to fifth layer. The sixth layer is one yellow stained clay and two yellow wool. And then for the white pattern, which we got here, we're going to start off by placing one white, two quartz, then two layers of three snow. The tenth layer is one white wool, one quartz, and one snow. Next layer being the eleventh layer is one yellow wool, one white wool, and one quartz. And then the final layer, one yellow stained clay, one yellow wool, and one white wool. Again, I'll back up just for a second to give you guys an opportunity to catch up, and then we're going to move promptly onto the shoulders. So, as I said, the shoulders is pretty much the final thing we need to do on the body before we can move on to the backpack and then ultimately the head. So, that's what we're going to work on right now. So, as I said, if you join them together using the grey wool earlier on, you'll have three sections. If you didn't, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We want a 4x4 four four on the left and a 4x4 four four on the right. This section here is irrelevant. It's going to be covered up by the head, so you can go ahead and fill it in, ignore it, do what you want to do with it. It doesn't matter. However, the 4x4 four four on either side does matter. So, the 4x4 four four essentially ranges from this quartz here to yellow stained clay, and same logic on this side, yellow stained clay to quartz. We're going to start on the left shoulder because that's the theme we're going with. So, essentially, there should be a 3x2 gap. We're going to start off by right next to this yellow stained clay, placing 2 gold, and right next to that, placing a 2x2 two two of yellow wool. And it's as simple as that, that's the shoulder complete. We now replicate this on the right side, so to the left of this yellow stained clay we place 2 gold, and to the left of that a 2x2 two two of yellow wool, and it will look something like this. That is it, it's as simple as that. So again, the shoulders should be 16 wide and 4 thick, I will come back one last time later on in the video, but for now, this is the last chance to pause on the body um, before we move on to the backpack. So, for the backpack, we're going to need a few more materials. So again, clear up your hotbar, keep it nice and clean. You're going to need your cyan stained clay, your grey wool, your yellow, and your gold. You'll also need your stone brick slabs and your stone brick stairs. For the backpack, we're going to come around to the rear side of the body, to this plain area here. And we're going to come to the bottom left corner to this yellow stained clay. We're going to go up one and place one cyan stained clay and bear in mind this is 3d so we're building it on top not into we're then going to go seven blocks to the right so a strip of eight cyan stained clay next what we're going to do is bring it out one more so we place another row of eight cyan stained clay coming out of the statue so it's now too thick and overhangs the statue by two blocks we're now going to work on going upwards rather than forwards now there is a part of the front, but again we'll come back to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, you also need a block of stone, so one on each side. Right next to the sand stained clay here, so in front of the smooth sandstone, we're going to place one stone. And same on this side, one stone. And that is all you're going to need the stone for at the moment. On top of the stone, we're going to place one grey wall. And that is like two separate sections on each side, a little 3D effect on the backpack. But for the main backpack itself, which is what we're going to work on, we've got this 8x2 area here. We're going to start on the left side and work our way up. So each layer is too thick. The first two layers is sand stained clay. So we have two layers of two sand stained clay. On top of this, we're going to have three layers of two grey wool. So we're just working our way up the side at this point. Currently, five blocks tall. For the sixth layer, on the left side, we're going to have one grey wool. So the left side being the closest to the body and then one cyan. And on top of that, we're going to place two grey wool. On top of that, we place two cyan, and that's going to cap it off. The way we mark it is just by placing two stone brick stairs on top, and that is the left side of the backpack. The right side is the exact same, so we head over to the right side now. We've got the two layers of cyan, the original and the second. We have three layers of two grey wool. The next layer is one grey wool next to the body and one cyan, and then we place a layer of grey wool on top. 
To cap it off, we place two cyan, and then on top of that, two stone brick steps, stairs, um, slabs. I think I kind of combined the two words there and said slayers. Um, but yeah, it should look like this. It should be like a 3D U shape. We're going to fill all the middle part in, but for now, we're going to worry about the top. So getting the outline done, basically. So we've got these stone brick slabs. And on the left side, we're going to place two grey wool to the right of it. And on the right, we're going to do the exact same on the left. We place two grey wool to the left of it. We're slowly but surely bringing it in. We're then, on both sides, going to go up diagonal. So on the left, we go up diagonal to the right. On the right, we go up diagonal to the left. And build across two blocks. And that will give you a strip of four cyan stained clay. We're going to bring that one forward. So essentially doubling it up. And now that gives you an outline for the rucksack. On top of the rucksack, so in this 4x2 area here, on the outer block, so not on the inside block, on the outer, on the second block we're going to place a stair facing towards the left, and on the third block we're going to have one facing towards the right, and that's the rucksack hook, how you like hook it onto like a hook, you know at school, I don't know, that's probably a bad explanation, but it's like the little hook on top of a rucksack, and that's what that represents. So for the actual inside part of the rucksack, which is what we're going to focus on now, we're going to start off at the bottom. Now the first three layers are pretty much covered up, and I'll explain that again in a second. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but I'm doing it in stages. So the first three layers is sand stained clay. So we've got this layer, and then two more. Now each layer is six thick, or six wide at this point. So first three layers is sand stained clay. The fourth layer is one grey wool, one gold, two yellow, one gold, and one grey wool. The layer after that, which is the fifth layer, is simply six cyan stained clay. The next layer is two cyan, two grey wool, and two cyan. The layer after that is one cyan, one grey wool, one yellow wool, one gold, one grey, and one cyan. Second to last layer is two cyan, one gold, one yellow, two cyan. And then the final layer is simply four cyan. Just fill in the gap and it will look something like this. So, as I said, the bottom part is going to be covered up by a 3D effect. Basically, the front pouch of the bag. The way we're going to do this is come to the bottom left corner to cyan stained clay here. Leave a one block gap and head towards the right. So, the second block in. We're then going to place a row of six cyan. So, we place one and then go one, two, three, four, five to the right. And that gives you a strip of six cyan stained clay and it extends out another row. So that is the third layer. On top of this, we're going to place two cyan. Then we're going to need our stone again. We place two stone, two cyan. And then for the third layer, we place six cyan. So it's essentially a free tool by six wide area. We're going to cap this off using stone brick slabs, just like we did on the top side. So on top of it, we leave a one block gap, place four slabs, and leave a one block gap. And then underneath, we do the exact same. One block gap, four slabs, and one block gap. However, on the underside, we bring it one towards the statue as well. So we place another layer of four. We don't place a third layer, just a second. So it will be too thick. As you can see from the underneath, it will look something like this. So that is the backpack. It's as simple as that. I'll give you a few like different angles, and then we'll do a little spin around of the statue so far before moving on to the head. So again, just a little spin around. Pause whenever you feel is necessary. We'll do a little spin around of the statue as a whole and then we'll make some progress on the head. Okie dokie. So, as for the statue, we're going to come around to the front side. As I said, we're going to do an in-depth spin around. So, if you're at this point and you're happy with where you are, just skip ahead and go to the head tutorial. But for now, what we're going to do is come to individual parts and do an in-depth spin around slash catch-up opportunity. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to a specific part of the statue. For example, in this case, the front of the legs. I'm going to state the height and the width, the height and the width, again, I'm combining words, I don't know why, height and width, for example, 12 by 8. I'm then going to give you guys an opportunity to pause, and then we'll move on to the next part. So, moving on, we've got the front of the body with the little 3D effects, it is 12 tall and 8 wide, and the 3D effects are 3 blocks on the left, 3 blocks on the right. As well as this, you have the front of the arms being 12 by 4 each. Coming around to the left side now, you have the left side of the leg, which is again 12 tall and 4 wide. You have the underneath of the hand, which is 4 by 4. And then you have the left side of the arm, which is again 12 by 4. 
Heading around to the right side now, exact same as the left, but I'll go over it anyways. 12 by 4 for the right side of the leg, 4 by 4 for the underneath of the arm, and then 12 by 4 for the side of the arm. Coming around to the rear side now, we have the rear side of the legs, which is 12 by 8. We also have the rear side of the body, but it's a bit obstructed now by the bag, so it's a bit difficult to see. For the back of the right arm, this is the arm, so it's 12 by 4. And then the back of the left arm, as you can see, again, 12 by 4. Our final side, which is right up here, is 16 wide and 4 thick, and that is the shoulders. So with that said, we're ready to start making some progress on the head. So, starting off, we're going to again grab the materials you're going to need for this build. I know I keep on piping on about materials and stuff, but it's just inventory management is key in builds like this, because otherwise it becomes a right pain. So, you'll need sandstain clay, birch planks, smooth sandstone, you'll need your grey stained clay, your brown stained clay, and your black stained clay, as well as quartz. And finally, black wool. So, these are the basic materials you're going to need for the face. Now we will be building the other sides, but again we're going to be focusing on the face first. So what we're going to do is come to the front side, as you can see we're already here, and come to the top left corner to this quartz right here. We're then going to count 5 blocks, so right, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the 5th block, which should be this yellow wall, we're going to place a cyan stained clay and bring it 1, 2, forwards. We're now going to do the exact same on the right side, so we head over to the right side, we go 1, 2, 3, Four, and on the fifth block, which should be the yellow wall, place a sand stain clay and bring it two forwards. Now what we're going to do is join them together. So in the first block, which should be the first block of the two block overhang, we're going to place a row of six smooth sandstone. So again, six smooth sandstone. And then for the second layer, we're going to place one birch plank, four smooth sandstone and one birch plank. And that will give you an eight by two overhang. I know it's a bit like blocked off by the 3D effect we did here. But as you can see, it is in fact a 8x2 overhang. Next what we're going to do is come around to the left side and we're going to start off by punching out this original sand stain clay we placed and place instead three smooth sandstone. Next to that we're going to place two brown stain clay and then finally one black stain clay and as you can see here it should overhang again by two blocks. We do the exact same for this side now. So we start off on the right side by replacing this first sand stain clay with a birch plank. We then are going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five brown stained clay and then cap it off with one black stained clay. As you can see here, this is what the right side looks like and this is what it overall looks like so far. So what we're going to do, same as we did on the front side, is join the rear side together. So for the first layer, it doesn't really matter because it's kind of obstructed by the bag anyways. We're going to place six brown stained clay. And then for the second layer, the outer layer, we're going to place two grey stained clay, two brown and two grey. And again, that gives you an 8x2 for the rear side. But most importantly, it gives you an 8x8, eight eight, which is what we're going to be using as the template for the head. So we've got front side, left side, right side and rear side. So right now should be looking something like this. Again, an 8x8 eight eight square. So we're going to start on the front side, aka the face, and then we'll work our way round. So starting on the front side, the first layer is as we've already done, one sand stained clay, one birch, four smooth sandstone, one birch, and one cyan. The second layer, going from left to right, is one birch, six smooth sandstone, and one birch. Now you may be asking why there's not a mouth. Now technically you could replace these two blocks here and make a mouth out of either light grey stained clay, would probably be my suggestion, or maybe even oak planks, but we've chosen not to, because again it makes it look a bit goofy and overcomplicates the design a bit. So the third layer is one smooth sandstone, one quartz, one black stained clay, two smooth sandstone, one black stained clay, one quartz, and one smooth sandstone. So that's the third layer, as you can see, kind of starting off with the eyes. The fourth layer is one grey stained clay, one quartz, one brown stained clay, two smooth sandstone, one brown, quartz, and one smooth sandstone. Again, that is the fourth layer. The fifth layer is one brown stained clay, six smooth sandstone, and one brown stained clay. Now we're starting to get into the hairline. The next layer, which is the sixth layer, is one grey stained clay, two smooth sandstone, one brown stained clay, 
two smooth sandstone, one brown, and one grey. The seventh layer, the second to last layer, is three brown stained clay, two grey, one brown, one grey, and one black stained clay. And then the final layer, which is the eighth layer, the final one, is eight black wool. So that is part of the hat, and again, we'll discuss more in a bit about the 3D effects. For now, we're just building the base of the design, but we will be adding a bunch of crazy 3D effects afterwards. For now, this is the front of the face. Again, it is eight tall and eight wide, and if you want to pause, feel free to do so right now. So on the basis you've done that, we're now going to come around to the left side, and we're going to work up layer by layer. Now, of course, each layer is only seven wide because this is the eighth block already done right here. Now the first layer again is already done, that consists of one black stained clay, two brown, three smooth sandstone and two cyan. Now we're going to go up layer by layer again left to right, starting with the second layer we go one grey stained clay, two brown, one grey and three smooth sandstone. The third layer is five brown stained clay and two smooth sandstone. The fourth layer is four black wool, one grey stained clay, one birch plank, and one black stained clay. Again, that was the fourth layer. The fifth layer, we're going to need to grab our grey wool. We're going to place one grey wool. Then we're going to place five black wool and one brown stained clay. The layer after that, which is our sixth layer, is one grey stained clay, two brown, four black wool, and the black wool here, as you can see, again, as I said on the front side, is part of the hat. Now, the hat, as well as, like, a sideways one on the head, it's not a proper, like, baseball cap. Again, it's more of a... I forgot the technical word. It's more like a sweatband, almost. The next layer, again, starting with our grey stained clay, we're going to place one grey, three brown stained clay, and three black wool. And that leaves us with our final layer, which is... Three brown stained clay, one black stained clay, and three black wool. As you can see here, the headband comes all the way across the side of the head, and then of course we've got our browns, our greys, and our blacks to represent the hair. So that is again an 8x8 eight eight square. That is the left side of the head. Now the right side is slightly different and does have a bit more detail because we'll be adding 3D effects on this side and not the other side. So we're going to fly around to the right side now and start working on that. So again, just to go over the first layer we've already got, we got one sand stained clay, one birch, five brown stained clay, and one black. The second layer, we're going to place three smooth sandstone, one grey, one black, and two grey. The third layer is two smooth sandstone, one black, and four brown. The fourth layer is one black stained clay, two grey, and four black wool. So again, that's the first four layers so far. Again, if you want to pause, take your time and do so. The layer after that, we're going to place two grey stained clay, four black wool, again, representing the headband, and then we're going to place one grey wool. Now, if you've done it correctly, the grey wool on this side should be perfectly aligned with the grey wool on the other side, and that will come into use later on. The next layer, we're going to start off by placing one brown stained clay, three black wool, one brown and two grey. The second to last layer, the seventh layer, we're going to place three black wool, two grey and two brown. And then the final layer, which is of course the eighth layer, we're going to place three black wool, two brown, one grey and one brown stained clay. And that is the right side of the head complete. So, coming around to the rear side now, this is again a case of just matching up side to side. So this is again 8x8, eight eight. however first layer is already done, block on left, block on right, means two of them are done, which means we're only placing six blocks on seven rows, so relatively easy. Starting off at the first layer, which should already be done, should be one black stained clay, two grey, two brown, two grey, and one black. The second layer is simply six brown stained clay, and then the layer after that is one brown, one grey, two black, one grey, one brown. On top of that, we're going to start with our headband. We're going to place two black wool, two grey and two black. And on top of that, we're going to place six black wool. So two layers for the headband 
out of the eight. The next layer is our sixth layer. We're going to place five brown stained clay and one grey. For our seventh, we're going to place two grey, two black, one grey and one brown. And then for our final layer, which is our eighth layer, we're going to place two grey, one brown, one grey and two brown stained clay. And that is the rear side of the head. So that leaves us with one more surface before we go crazy and add a bunch of 3D effects. And that is, of course, the top side. So we're going to come to the top side and we're going to start from the back, working our way to the front. So, of course, look at it from a front perspective. Now, again, this is an 8x8. However, the 8x8 outline is already done. So the actual square we're filling in is 6x6. So starting off at the rear side, at the top left corner, we're going to ignore this first row. We're going to have one brown stained clay, we're then going to place another six, and then there will be a grey stained clay on this side. For the second layer, exact same, six brown stained clay. Now the third layer is slightly different. Right next to this black stained clay here, we're going to place one grey, one black, one grey, two black, and one grey, and that will link up perfectly. In front of that, we're going to place a row of six black wool, then six grey wool, and then again, six black wool. And that will give you something that looks like this. Essentially, four layers of hair and four layers of headband. Now, this is where it gets a bit crazy when we're adding the 3D effects. So this statue on the head has a bunch. And that's what we're going to work on now. So we're going to start off at the top corner, at the top left corner with the black wool. We're going to bring it forwards, one, two, all the way across. So eight layers or eight blocks, two layers is the better way of putting it. So... Two layers of eight, and it overhangs like this. Now, this kind of turns it into somewhat of a baseball cap. Now, it pretty much is a sweatband almost. So, if you don't want to do that, simply just don't extend it forwards two blocks. But I do recommend you doing it. For the hair, what we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner of the face. We're then going to go up one, two, three, four, five to this brown stained clay right here. And we're going to place a brown stained clay on top as a 3D effect. We're then going to go to the right one, up one, to the right one. On top of this block, we're going to place a grey stained clay. And then we're going to go two to the left and then one to the left again using a grey stained clay. And that will overextend the side of the face, but that is intentional. Coming back to this brown stained clay right underneath this grey here, we're going to go down diagonal to the right. From here, we're going to place a brown stained clay. Go up diagonal to right, place a grey, and then up again and place a brown. The final two 3D effects we're going to add to the front of the face is we're going to get a yellow wall, and in front of the cyan stained clay on either side, bottom left and bottom right, we're going to place a yellow wall. And that is what it should look like once you've added all the effects. Moving on to the left side now, so scoot on round to the left, we're going to need our yellow stained clay right next to this yellow wall here. So in front of this cyan, we're going to place a yellow stained clay, then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left using yellow wool. And then place a yellow stained clay at the bottom. For the hair effects on this side, it's not too many. We're just simply going to place two blocks. We come to the top left corner of this brown stained clay here. We go 1, 2, 3 to the third block and then down one. We're going to place a brown stained clay here. And then down diagonal to the left we place a grey stained clay. And it should look something like this. Now the right side is the exact same as the bottom, but doesn't include this effect. So we're going to head round to the right side now. Starting in this front corner here, right in front of the cyan stained clay, we're going to place a yellow stained clay. Go six blocks to the right using yellow wool and one yellow stained clay. And that is the right side complete. It's as simple as that. Coming round to the rear side now, we're going to start off going underneath the head. So underneath the first two blocks of the head, we're going to place a yellow wool on the left and two yellow on the right. So as you can see, it should look something like this. Two yellow on the left, two yellow on the right, directly underneath this black stained clay on either side. For the hair effects on the rear side, we're placing three blocks, all of them brown stained clay. So we come up to the top right corner, we go down diagonal to left, place one, down diagonal to left, and then to the left one, and that is your three blocks complete. And that leaves us with one final side, which is of course the top. So for the top, we're going to be working a bit on the hat and then a bit on the hair as well. So we're going to start off on the hat first. So we come to the front left corner of the black wall here. We count one, two, and then on the third block, we place a black wall. Then we're going to place two grey, one black, and then we're going to place one yellow stained clay, one yellow wall, one yellow stained clay, and then one black wall. 
So as you can see, there's a two block gap here. And if you don't have the overhang, it will look something like this. This is why I kind of recommend you have the overhang because otherwise it looks a tad weird. Then what we're going to do is behind this, we're going to do two layers of eight black wool. So behind this 3D effect, we're going to do two layers more of eight black wool and it will look from the side something like this now. The final thing we're going to do before we wrap up this tutorial is add the hair effects for the top. So the way we do this is we come to the strip here which has the black stained clay, the grey. Right in front of the second block here which is the grey, we go forward to one, place a brown. We then go up diagonal to right, down diagonal to right, and then to right one using grey stained clay. Above this we place one brown, so that's five blocks in total so far. And then to right at this we go one, two, over to this empty block here, diagonal from the top corner and place one, and that is it. It's as simple as that, and once you've done that, that is your statue complete, and you have finished. Most importantly, that is the tutorial over, and I really do hope you enjoyed. So, I'm going to get rid of my inventory, get rid of my arm as well, and then we'll have a little spin around, a little talk, and yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. So, if you did like the design, definitely go show the designer Nebula or Russell the Jimmy some support and some love. Again, social media links down in the description. If you like the video or the tutorial itself, then again, don't forget to leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe or a follow to my other social media at Gummy Bear Games on Twitter. And think there for a second what my Twitter was. But yeah, at Gummy Bear Games. And also, if you enjoy my style of content, Minecraft tutorials, there's a bunch of playlists on the channel. I do a bunch of cool stuff. Minecraft plushes, Minecraft statue tutorials, restaurant builds, you name it, it's probably there. So definitely give the channel a check out. And if you're into pop vinyls and that kind of stuff, check out my second channel where I do geeky unboxings and other videos in that kind of format. But apart from that, again, I really do hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the delay, this did take a while. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tomogami, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through